There is a new comet in the night sky. It is called Comet Atlas. Uh, it has reached naked eye visibility, but only yet can be seen from very dark locations. At the moment it is in the Orso Major constellation. But up to the June it will move toward the constellation Orion. Potentially it can brighten up up to magnitude minus 5 and can be as bright as the planet Venus when it is near the Sun. Ancients believed comets bring disease and disaster. They were messengers of death and doom. I wonder with the coronavirus raging how they would have thought. The whole planet is raging with the coronavirus. So far 21,000 people have died across the planet. This is the light curve of the comet Atlas. It is not a sun grazer, but will get very close to the sun. It has the potential to get as bright as magnitude minus 10. This is the latest images of this comet. Whenever comets appeared, disease was also appearing. For the ancients, this was a cause and effect phenomenon. It was the duty of astronomer royals to predict their apparition. And they did it everywhere. They filled our heart with fear and praise. People knew they are the heralds of the doom. Who knows, maybe there is some truth in that. They can contain organic material. And they may have even started life on our planet. And as with dinosaurs, they can also end it up. This is called mass extinction. When it becomes too big, it will die out eventually. And a new life begins.
Okay, yep. The cutting in the sea of the north of the Imbrium, where the Jura Mountains is, uh, what is called actually the part near the Caucasian Mountains, is the uh, Alpine Valley. Amazing. Yeah, it's in lower part so when you see the a parallel dotted line as if parallel to that mountain inward to the um, sea of rains is where the Apollo 15 landed in the mountains. Try to zoom on down. 